Thank you, Youth Leader Aditya, for the heart sinking speech. The next speaker is Youth Leader Sandeep Saina. He is a 10th grader studying in ISG Tehran who loves sports and especially pestering his sister. The title of his speech is Eight Minutes. Eight Minutes by Youth Leader Sandeep Saina. Have you ever been paralyzed under the pressure of winning? Yes. I was, because I was up against 8,000 contestants, distinguished Toastmasters, fellow youth leaders, and lovely guests. A warm good evening to you all. <coughs> the UCMass International Mental Arithmetic Competition is held annually in Malaysia, more than 8,000 students from all over the world compete here. The main test is to solve 200 sums of all operations up to five digits. If you may think that the time allowed is one to three hours, then you will be mistaken. It's actually only eight minutes. No calculators or even paper calculations are permitted. Everything needs to be solved strictly mentally. And whoever finishes the most number of sums with the highest accuracy in those eight minutes is declared as the ch champion. Being a topper in UC Match Jubail, I was motivated to participate in this competition, but I had to work harder. My practice sessions included four to six hours every day solving multiple papers for six months straight. This may sound excessive, but the truth is that in the contest, every millisecond from turning the paper to moving your hands to solve the sums makes a difference in those eight minutes. This practice regimen worked wonders for me as I won the second place in the year 2007, which was the first time that Saudi Arabia had participated in this competition. I again won the fourth place in 2008. But I wanted to set myself a more challenging goal. I aimed to be the champion in 2010. All my focus was pointed at this goal, like a peregrine falcon's eyes on its target. I was all set. But just three weeks before the contest date, I was informed that I had move up to a much higher category. That came like a bolt out of the blue. All my practice through the year didn't mean much. And what loomed so large in my mind was my fear that I might slip from my coveted top five spot. I spoke to my mom. Should I or should I not? But she was cool and said, Cindy, you have proven your mental and focus in the last two years. You have nothing to lose, even if you lose this contest. But if you give up, you will lose your self-belief. Just go ahead. These words gave me a new perspective. I felt rejuvenated. The big day arrived. We walked into the competition hall amidst the buzz of 8,000 other competitors. As I saw my paper land on my table, I realized that this paper 
wasn't going to decide whether I win or lose. It was all up to me and my determination. The whistle blew, and I turned the paper and started solving sums rapidly. It was just me and my paper, and the whole world disappeared into an oblivion. My hands were like the binary digits, zero and one, of a computer chip, and my fingers and eyes never stopped for the next eight minutes. On hearing the final whistle, I felt that I had conquered myself. A few hours later, the results were announced. I wasn't the fifth place, fourth place, or even the third place winner. I said to myself, it's okay, Cindy. You have conquered yourself, and that's all you wanted. The second place winner wasn't me either. Finally, the announcement came. The first place winner for category Higher B International is Sandeep Sainath from UC Mass KSA. All I can remember was many people, including my parents, hugging and kissing me. I was the champion. I was the champion of myself and my team. Friends, when I look back, I realize that what I ended up conquering wasn't just the contest, it was also the fear within me. From then on, there was no looking back. I bent forward to win the championship in the highest category, the grand level, in 2012. As the erudite author, Paulo Polo, once said, there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve. The fear of failure. <coughs> the fear <coughs> of failure. Oh, dear.